Okay, guys, I just wanted to do a quick showcase of some of my favorite Blu-ray special editions, DVD editions, etc. Um, you know, as we, I've noticed as we move more into streaming services and physical media becomes a thing of the past, I noticed a lot of Blu-rays um, and, and you know, companies aren't releasing Blu-rays and DVDs and or, or if they are, they're not releasing it in these special editions like they used to. And so I got these during the heyday of Blu-rays and and DVDs, and I'm an absolute sucker for it. If if the Blu-ray and DVD had a lot of special features, and um, also came with a figurine, I'd I'd purchase it right away. So this is just a showcase of some of my favourites. So just to get this out of the way, and I'll move them in the background or something. Um, the first one is from Star Trek Beyond. So this Blu-ray um, here, and it came with a came with the ship. Now I'm not not the biggest fan of the new Star Treks at all. I think they're pretty terrible, but this one was the best out of the three, um, I think. And just because, again, I'm a sucker for it, it came with, um, I'll put this over here, it came with a ship um, that, uh, that you know, this is obviously a model of the ship that's characterized in the film, an Enterprise ship, and I think that's pretty cool. It's magnetized there. And yeah, it just looks really handsome on your shelf. Um, one of the Star Trek ships, although it's from one of the less popular <laughs> series of the of the Star Trek universe. Um, the other one here is a two part. I'll just show off this one. It's um from Jurassic World. So there's the original Tyrannosaurus Rex and a on a pretty good um little base here display, and it's a two parter. And this is the special. I don't know the DNA special. Um, um uh a dinosaur you know that they made out of all special kinds of dna and it's a really really silly movie but that showdown between them um was absolutely phenomenal i think one of the best showdowns i've ever seen in in movies i thought it was um that good um if i can find the special features just to show you oh here it is it's a weird one it came in this tin k tin case here so Jurassic World 3D and this always comes out. I try to keep it together, but the the Blu-ray discs are inside here and this comes in um, 3D as well. So I did showcase this in my 3D movie collection as well. I'll just put this aside. And yeah, so it came with these two awesome figurines. These are very heavy, um, feel very strong. These are very, very good quality and they look great on the shelf as well. Um, the next one here is this beautiful, absolutely beautiful Gal Gadot Wonder Woman figurine here. There's the back of her. There's a shield. I, I really love the movie. I haven't even seen the second one because I heard so many bad things about it. Um, but I, I absolutely fell in love with um, the movie. And this is the Blu-ray. This is the actual Blu-ray come came in and it didn't have a slip cover, which was... Oh, crap, sorry. Which was so annoying because I really do like the slip covers but this was uh packed full of special features i'm disappointed this wasn't a 3d edition i don't remember it being released in 3d but um if there was a 3d edition i certainly missed out on it unfortunately <laughs> but um yeah it came in a big box and this is the figurine that you know um the dc universe has arguably failed uh this was definitely the best film out of the whole series although the suicide squad movie might come in pretty well uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, this is just an absolutely beautiful edition there um, of Wonder Woman. Excellent, excellent movie as well. Um, I might just go to the back here. Oh, crap, I keep hitting that sword. Um, uh, so this is Slimer. Um, so you can just imagine the quality of Wonder Woman here is just perfect. She's, you know, the mo the modeling on this is perfect. The quality feels absolutely fantastic. You know, re really well done there. Um really good quality, although by the end of this presentation I'll probably break that sword. Um here's Slimer. Um this feels like it's all ceramic, so if I drop this, this does feel like it'll shatter and break. Um just like a teapot or something like that. Um but yeah, I, I absolutely love Ghostbusters. And just to showcase the DVD that this came in. So it's like a book. Um, and the book itself has actual information on the movies. And this... Um, oh, crap. This uh, 
uh, uh, edition here has actually two discs, um, number one and two, and I'm one of the few, surprisingly, that also loves the second one as much as the first one. Um, I think people are crazy not to like the second one. You guys are nuts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, excellent, excellent edition here um, of Slimer, who's a fan favorite you know, um, really cool uh, model here. But again, it does feel, not to say fragile, but it does feel if I drop this just because of the material, like that ceramic-like material that it's made out of, it feels like it'll break. But really, really cool. I'm very proud of this one. I'm proud of all of these. I should probably stop saying I'm proud of this one. Um, Independence Day um, 4. Oh, sorry. <laughs> keep saying Independence Day 4. Independence Day. So this is um, the special edition that was released. Um when i think the second movie came out they released um the blu-ray um special edition so here's the blu-ray here and this is loaded with special features um and it isn't 3d so I'm, i didn't show this off on the 3d collection <laughs> um yeah so that's the 3d movie there and this is um the ship oh crap and it did come off there um it's got two inserts there oh, so annoying all right, I'm not going to get this. Oh, I did. I think I got it. No, I didn't. <laughs> now, I think... No, I was about to say I thought the discs were inside here, but they're not. No, the discs aren't inside the base plate. But obviously this is the the ship that crash lands. Um, I think that Will Smith shot down. and um, Or maybe it's the ship that they were studying um, for ages in Area 51. I'm not sure, but that that's a pretty cool... A little toy there. Independence Day, for, uh, Independence Day, the movie is pretty fantastic. Um, and of course we got Batman. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Independence Day, I've ruined it. Ugh. I've ruined this beautiful figurine. Um, and this awesome, awesome edition. This would be, um, of course, Ben Affleck, uh, based on the movie. Um, this came from the Batman um, DVD Blu-ray. If I can find it. Oh, Batman vs Superman. Just a second. I'm just going to go quickly get it. So, um, yeah, this is the Blu-ray that it came in. Um, the extended cut with 30 more minutes. Um, not a great movie, um, but it's got some of the best action sequences I've ever seen in any superhero movie. I think Zack Snyder is an incredibly talented filmmaker, but he needs a good script and somebody to rein him in to just, just to be a bit more disciplined um, because that, that movie was just bloated um, and all over the place. But this is a beautiful addition, very heavy. Like I'm holding this right now and just with the base. Um, oh man, it's a very, very heavy figurine. Feel, feels like it's built like a tank, but that's obviously um, Ben Affleck and that's Gal Gadot. So this is from the DC Universe and they released several figures. Um, Superman, I think. They also released um, Deadshot um, and a couple of others, but um, I, I didn't get all of them. I'll, I'll just show you the ones that I did get. <laughs> yeah, so Batman, Ben Affleck, really, really beautiful addition here. And of course, just to continue our DC um, talk here, and this is the beautiful Harley Quinn. Um, geez, I should <laughs> remember the actress's name who played this. She's Australian. Very, very beautiful girl. But this is an excellent, excellent figurine of um, Harley Quinn here. Um, really, oh my gosh, I'm going to break that sword. A really, really good edition. Feels very heavy. Not as heavy as um, Batman. And it's very loose here. Like, it's easy to come off. Um, it feels like. Like, her heel. Oh, sorry. Um, the foot is... Um, there's a little base there where to insert the foot. Like, a little tab to insert it. Ugh. And... But, yeah, this is a very beautiful model here. It feels like stockings here like, that I can move around on the legs. And you can see... Um, the characterization, uh, the modeling, sorry, of the character. And I'm just looking up her name, Margot Robbie. How could I forget that? I'm Australian and I forgot Margot Robbie's name. That is so embarrassing. But an extremely um, popular character that actually came from the animated series. I think it was Paul Dini who wrote um, uh, the script that gave birth to um, Harley Quinn and she's become an absolute staple in the DC universe one of the most loved um, certainly I'm just going to put her over here because obviously everyone loves looking at those two lovely ladies and this is the blu-ray that it um, came in 
So it has the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital HD. A terrible, terrible movie. I remember coming out of this movie thinking oh, it was awesome, and then I watched it again at home, and it was so bad I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> it was a terrible film. Um, but yeah, some DC really missed the mark there with the movies. Um, they, they might come back. All, all it takes is a good talented team like what marvel has and they'll put it together they definitely have all the elements great characters a great you know many years of books to draw upon so i'm sure it's only a matter of time before they put it all together um the next one here is um uh, x-men days of future past and this is obviously the helmet of magneto and it feels incredible quality um this and this is the stand and it has a little tab that you put the helmet on and it looks like that i love the color of this and the detail and it feels of excellent excellent quality um so i'll just show you the blu-ray disc um so uh, so days of future past um x-men the ultimate edition and so th this d does have the 3d version which i highlighted in my 3d movie collection i thought this was a really good one um by brian singer who's obviously become a outcast in hollywood now but the sequel to this uh, um, x-men apocalypse was absolutely abysmal but i really enjoyed um x-men days of future past i think this is one of the best x-men mo movies i would probably put if i could rank them logan as number one um, and then probably X-Men 2 and then X-Men Days of Future Past. Like, uh, that's our higher rate, this one. So, yeah, some hit and misses, unfortunately, with the X-Men series. Um, I'm just going to spin the camera around just to make it easier for myself. And the next one here are highlighted in the 3D movie collection. This is Terminator 2, and this is a limited edition. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome set here um, because it looks like a life-size, well, it is based off a life-size prop from that from the movie yeah, where John Connor or the team rather breaks into Cyberdyne and they literally take this hand and the computer chip. I, I wondered, no, this doesn't come with a computer chip. I always wondered, wanted, wanted the, that com broken computer chip that um, they, obviously Cyberdyne was able to take off the first Terminator and um, uh, increase or rapidly increase the evolution of um, of uh, AI technology. And if I can find the Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. And this is the D Blu-ray here, um, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Terminator 2, Judgment Day um, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and this is um, the um, Blu-ray that it came in. So this is actually a 4K Ultra, but it also has the Blu-ray. And I remember seeing this in 3D. They spe they released a special edition of this uh, in 3D at the movies. Um, and uh, I was able to see this movie in 3D re-released and it was fantastic. Um, and in fact, I said on the 3D movie collection that the Terminator 2 ride or Terminator 2 3D judgment day ride at universal studios was the best 3d experience i ever had but unfortunately this wasn't released for 3d at home which is weird because james cameron is a big proponent of 3d obviously with the avatar movies bringing it back or avatar movie bringing it back but um yeah terminator 2 judgment day 3d as far as i know isn't available in 3d for home um but yeah excellent excellent blu-ray there just tucked all the way in the back there is um, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Hellboy. And I actually broke this. This actually fell from the TV and he's supposed to have a blade. So obviously these are supposed to be based off the creatures that fight at the end, the Golden Army. They look like eggs and then they um, sort of transform into these unbeatable um, uh, robots that can keep um, putting themselves back together. They're sort of like steampunk, but this is a really awesome figurine. I really wish I didn't break it. I'm such a big fan of Guillermo del Toro. And I think this came from memory a b with a book that's um, based off the sketches. Like, because Guillermo del Toro, every time he makes a movie, he makes these elaborate sketchbooks that are very beautiful. Like they're pretty much works of art. And uh, I think this came with like four, like a mini miniature book. Might have it in here. No, it doesn't. A miniature like book um, with it that that has like four pages of uh, excerpts from from that actual diary that Guillermo del Toro kept, or that moleskin 
book <laughs> or whatever he uses. So you can see it's a lenticular cover here that goes off um, the original comic book. And if I pan that around, you can see um, the uh, the actual Hellboy that's um, in the movie, um, if I'm doing that okay. But yeah, beautiful edition here. I really wish I got this on Blu-ray. But I'm, despite being such a big fan of Guillermo del Toro, I've, I've tried really, really hard to get into Hellboy. And I'm, I'm just not a fan of Hellboy. I've and I love comic book movies, obviously, but Hellboy just, just isn't for me. As much as I love Guillermo del Toro, he's probably top five favorite filmmakers of all time. And all the way in the back here is the Nak Ooh, crap, sorry, is the Nakatomi. <laughs> I'm going to mispronounce it here. But it is the Nakatomi uh, Plaza. Um, that's This is obviously Die Hard. And the... Um, oh, crap. No, I don't have... Okay, maybe I've got a different... Because I remember the movie discs being in the back here. Yeah, so the discs would go in here. Why do I own this? Hmm. Maybe maybe this fits in there? Oh, it does, no? Oh, this does. Okay, so this normally fit fits in there. Obviously, I don't want to do that and keep having to take it out. out but this is an awesome, awesome um, steel structure. <laughs> Sorry, um, figurine of the... Of of the actual, you know, based based on the actual building from Die Hard One, um, yeah. So awesome base there, where obviously the Blu-ray used to be housed. Um, so it can actually this Blu-ray set can actually fit um, on the base of this um, building. So that's that's pretty cool. There, I'll just put that in the background there. So you can see. Um, <laughs> oh, and this is the Blu-ray here, which contains all the Die Hard um, movies. We, I still haven't seen A Good Day to Die. I haven't heard good things about it. Or was it Live Free or Die Hard? Yeah, I think I've only seen the first three. Wow. Okay, yeah, so that's um, my beautiful, uh, some of my beautiful Blu-ray editions here. But it's really sad that we've hit the streaming service as, as, you know, it's great with convenience and everything like that. We can see movies with a click of a button, um, huge libraries there. But once, once movies get banned... Um, for whatever reason, you know, they're taken off those streaming services, you can't find them again. Or um, also, we also give up um, the dangers of having streaming services. You give up these beautiful um, physical editions, which contain so many special features, behind the scenes stuff, some hidden Easter eggs, which are really fun, like really, really great um, home theater experience. Uh, not many people actually watch the special features, funny enough. Well, I did, because I love them. And um, and also you you also got these beautiful beautiful editions. Um, just trying to show off Batman there. Um, you you also get these beautiful beautiful Blu-ray editions that just you know they look at you, they sit on your shelf and they just remind you of the movie and they're just fantastic. Even though Suicide Squad's a terrible terrible film, um, you got this awesome beautiful model of Margot Robbie here that just you know looks fantastic. And I can't see. As we move away from physical media, I can't see you know any more special releases being <laughs> being made. So these these are going to be relics. <laughs> You're looking at relics, people of the old movie business. All right, thanks guys. Um, comment um below on which one's your favorite, or if any ones that um that you think oh man you you missed out on getting this one, just leave it below. I regret not getting the Batman Dark Knight Rises with the broken. Um, helmet of um, Batman that was a pretty cool one I didn't get and the face of the Predator um, where, where it's got the mask I, I regret not getting that one as well the head I remember seeing that in the store and I for whatever reason I just didn't didn't want to get out maybe I wasn't into collecting that movie at the time or maybe I just didn't have the money or maybe I was just priced out of it um, but there's some really weird ones like iRobot had a similar release like that like it's the actual head of the iRobot, I thought that was really weird. I was like, is iRobot really that big? <laughs> oh, the big one I missed out on was Tron. I really wanted that one with the discs. It's it's like a disc of um of Tron, like Tron Legacy, I think it came out on. Oh, that was such a beautiful edition. I missed out on that one. Oh, that breaks my heart just thinking about it. Um, if I can only have one of all of these, it would definitely be the Terminator 2. As much as I love Wonder Woman, um... Margot Robbie here, um, you know, and all the rest of it, um, and Slime in the background, Die Hard. My favorite is definitely Terminator 2, one of the greatest action films ever made, and this is such an awesome addition because it's like a, a replica, you know, from from the movie. And people, every time 
like people come to the house, this is the first thing that they look at. Like obviously the beautiful ladies here and everything is like eye candy, but really it's this. They're like, oh, no way, you actually got the hand from the movie? And I'm like, oh, no, this is the special limited edition Blu-ray, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.